Okay, um, TRW, a uh, little round top, Avalon Hill, early 1980s. Um, Confederate player turn, uh, game turn four. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look to get through a whole player turn with, uh, with some confidence here. By the way, I'm using calculator now to help um, as, I, as I expend command points going forward. Okay, um, command phase, obviously everybody is, you know, Let's follow the rules because there are the there are the particular rules. I like the uh, by the way I like the self rally. I'm calling it self rally. I'm not sure what the um, unit attempts to rally. All disorganized uh, units attempt to rally. Uh, I do believe it's on a six. So, but, so let's so they do not um, self rally. The uh, C Company, Fourth Alabama, there. Um, uh, units are within radius. No units are out of radius. If they are out of radius, I'm going to use the. Uh, where are they? I'm going to use the the out of command markers from uh, Devil's Den because I don't see any that came with uh, with a little round top here. Okay. Um, now qualifying for command bonus. Again, I, I still don't know what's in uh, what's what's. I don't know what's what's expected here, but I I'm gonna say that uh, was it uh, Bulger Bulger is in, and I'm using the CP bonus markers from Devil's Den. So uh, for this step, specifically step three of the command phase, uh, the officers announce any orders qualify for a command bonus. So it's going to be a march or movement order. Uh, I guess a movement order. Uh, yeah, a move order for uh, his formation there. Let's see, one... You know, right away I'm looking here and I'm thinking, can uh, can disorganized units do volley fire? It would make no sense that they could, but... Uh, huh, is that it? I should probably look at what penalties are... Well, actually I should wait and see whether they don't even... whether they don't rally, but I wonder what the penalties are for being disorganized but anyways we do we definitely have some more CP bonuses here or command bonuses so Colonel Oates is going to use his here by the way this Colonel Oates here um, survived the war um, and served as a political leader of some sort um, so I wonder if my first brigade commander Colonel Oates is in isn't distantly related to this Colonel Oates. Anyways, um, CP bonus. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's by leader. So Captain Hill over here is going to use. Uh, so again, it's a move command bonus. By the way, it's Im it's implied here, but I, I think it is. You you get one command bonus for one order, given the right circumstances per turn. Okay. Um, see, and that also, that, that's also a strong, okay, I don't think Scruggs qualifies, um, oh no, I, no, I guess he does, because it's the ones under, um, so does he want to use it, um, um, huh, uh, no, no, he won't, okay, uh, um, so now we go to step four. Now officers expand command points, change formation, fix, remove bayonets, send or rally. Okay. So um, not changing formations yet. Um, not going to fix bayonets because then because then we can't fire. So I guess it's just to rally this unit. So Scruggs is, and you're doing it here. You're doing it before. So Scruggs spends. Um, Five to rally the unit there. Um, by the way, I'm wondering, can you expend command points? Actually, can any disorganized, if the disorganized unit, I don't know the answer to this, I'll look at this later, but if the disorganized unit is, let's say, um, adjacent to an enemy, 
uh, well, actually I can't even say adjacent, if it's in the zone of control of an enemy, can it self-rally? And also, can it receive command points to rally? I don't know. Look at that later. I did. I was wondering about that. But you see, here's five is spent here, so I kind of want a little reminder. Here, I'll put a put a five here because he's expended five um, to rally there. And then we go to gathering ammunition. Now we go to the movement phase. The rules do, if I remember correctly, the rules do suggest you do uh, regiment by regiment. Makes perfect sense. Um, it's going to do a, so Bolger is marching up here, up, up here towards the 80, Union 83rd there. Okay, so he has the bonus, so he has um, 31. Um, again, it should be moving company by company, so... Oops. Um, move company by company, no matter how annoying that is. Alright, so this is all the same level as they march up here. So it's one hex forward, same level in column, right? So it's so it's two, four, six. I'm gonna exp I'm gonna experiment with going six. I've had to adjust myself so many times. I need I want to I want to get myself to stop doing that, but I don't know. It's too strong. So this so Bolger can move with his unit, and he's gonna be one. So this is three. This is two, two for the company, one for Bolger himself. So this is three, six, nine. All right, so he has spent obviously 15 points so far. He, they're still in column because they're not changing. Um, this bonus still goes; it keeps going. Here, what do we have here? We have flag. Okay. So again, um, two, four, six. Um, two, four, six. Is that correct? I believe that is. And he's already, uh, and he's already almost out of out of points. <laughs> Don't understand this. Okay. So basically, another way to look, and I'm going to leave it now. I would have never allowed such a huge break if I had known again that this was going to happen. But is is this? And I know the designers. I mean, I. I I actually have a fair amount of respect for these designers from what I've seen. Are they trying to say, are they trying to, I'm just double checking, it's, well it's 15 plus, uh, 15 plus 12, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he has 31 points, which seems like a lot, but he's down to, what, four? Okay, so two units can move a hex. That's it. Uh, wow. Okay, so yeah, see now his command radius is four, so he easily easily outstrips the tail of his column. Okay. Are the designers trying to say that if you move as a big block, you're slower? Um, I mean, I guess that's one way to look at it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's intended there, but here he he ran out of he ran out of points. So basically, he moves half of his formation essentially, and he significant distance and he's out I just I think this is just going against so many I shouldn't even say so many I think this is going against the few games I've played so far that have a kind of follow the leader uh, chain effect I guess I should say a strong follow the leader slash chain effect I don't know so well, I'll, I'll get to try get to try again here. Um, all right, CP bonus, Colonel Oates, 25. He has 31. <laughs> so, Bolger moved what? Bolger moved what? A mere 
Um, moved uh, three hexes, so I'll have so I'll have Colonel Oates try moving. Um, try moving two hexes. Um, again, I'm gonna try to do this correctly and try to do this correctly. Go in order. So um, so this is same level. Um, now I got confirmation. You can definitely change one hex side per hex for free, which actually is understandable to give the companies this amount of, even though they're in these types of formations, it still gives them some leeway. I mean, the hexes aren't that big. So anyways, that would be uh, two, um, three, four, there. So four, eight, plus two, uh, for uh, Colonel Oates himself. I guess the column doesn't have to go on top. All right. Um, I'll save that because he's still using the, that bonus. All right, so that's 10. <laughs> he's already a third through his allotment. Um, now this would be exactly the same. Uh, yes, it would. Are they going? Nope, same level and everything. So, so I'm just going to move it. No, I'm sorry, it's not the same. It's minus two because there's no commander here. So this is eight. All right, so eight. Uh, all right. Um, now here, I'm not sure what, I'm scared to do anything, but they're going to go up a, okay, so he has um, 13, 13 remaining points. All right, let's just go again, let's just do this in order without overthinking it. So forward, uh, uh, same level in column is two, three, four, five. Yeah, because they changed the level. Once again, he can't make it. So... Wait. Wait. I'm going to do it. Or maybe he can. Ten. I'm sorry, he can, he can do that, right? So that would be... Uh, I'm going to do a whole complete check in my head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Okay. Okay. Um... Never mind, he, he, he could do that. All right, that leaves three points left over. Um, oh, I guess that would be this one for two. Um, oh, that's interesting. No, no, it specifies that a unit can only receive uh, CPs from one uh, commander. Uh, otherwise, that would be interesting how you could kind of hand off um, where is that? It says that here. Um, a company may only receive command points from a single officer during a game turn. So this unit couldn't get couldn't get some from Oates and some from the next commander. I'm gonna do okay. So I guess he'll move with. He'll. Well, oh, that is something interesting to bear in mind. Um, Oates has more has more command points. Oh well, I'll experiment with, with I'll experiment here with Captain Hill moving these guys, but I wonder if Oates shouldn't actually use his to move that unit. Hmm. Alright. Oates is done. Colonel Oates is done. 
So now we have Captain Hill. So 20 um, uh, C CP bonus, command bonus, so it's 26. All right. All right, so, whoops, so, um, uh, two, four, um, all right, I'm just going to do two, four, again, I have no idea how far they're going to be able to get, um, and technically, doom, two, doom, four, um, so what's that, that's eight already, plus two to move, uh, Captain Hill himself. Alright, and then this would be eight behind him. Yep. That's Yeah. Do that and then um uh that leaves uh light. That leaves eight. So that's two four. Let's go six. Do I actually finally do that correctly? Hmm. Maybe I did. Um, okay, here, uh, Scruggs, uh, he's paid five already. Um, oh, he can pay for, he's going to pay for Volley Fire, but that's, um, You still, you still have to pay attention to the command bonus, though. Anyways, that's 10, so now he's up to 15. Um, oh, he only has five left, so... Uh, I, um, I guess he doesn't have anything else. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go to, uh, fire combat to try to miss anything again. Movement phase. No, that's it. Um, volley fire. We're not going to initiate melee. Oh, wait. Uh, no, 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 no. Movement itself. Uh, when I declare volley fire, I'm not thinking of movement. Or, or when I'm thinking of movement, I'm not thinking of volley fire. Um, so, fi five... Um, but he can only move one unit forward, though. But he's still going to do it. So we're going to move adjacent. Um, isn't that funny? So if Scruggs is here, he's got two companies in here. If he moves one forward, does it have to be the top unit? No, no, no. I don't think so. Um, okay, he's going to move. Uh, okay. You move forward, and then can he change facing? I guess. Oh, but I guess it doesn't really matter either for right now. All right, so he is going to move forward. So that is um, you're not paying extra to move into a zaw command points. Wouldn't that be interesting if you had to pay extra command points to enter enemy zone of control? But that's um, one hex forward, same level, um, in a line. So that's three. So he did spend, what, 18 of 20? That's not bad. All right, so now now let's do... Let me see if there... Is there anything else about moving into enemy Zoc? Well, you have to stop. I know that. Um, um, is there anything else? Um, Zones of control. Um, you immediately stop. Um, not sure there is much more to it than that. Um, um, yeah, okay. All right. Fire. Um, union player gets defensive fire. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, so 
By the way, is the line of sight blocked here? Can these Union companies fire along this hex side to that target there? I want to discuss all this fire here. First of all, the um, so the Union companies here are yeah they're on the same level as the um, Confederates there. So uh, the uh, hex side there with the unit in it uh, does not block line of sight. They fired. They just didn't get a result. Over here, um, this is adjacent here. On uh, the 20th Main uh, H Company there, they rolled a 1. Um, they don't have to roll for ammunition uh, status because it was not volley fire at this point in the game. So, but 1 is a is a uh, strength... Oh, I also want to say the, the rock wall, or the stone wall. So the stone walls between them there. This game doesn't seem... I, I don't see any evidence of a, like an original owner or whatever. So... I gave the 4th Alabama the benefit of being, uh, because they're being fired on through an adjacent uh, stone uh, wall. So even though, even though it's the 20th main, <laughs> even though it's the 20th main's wall, uh, I gave them the benefit because I don't see where to, to, to do differently than that. Um, yes, yeah, so I gave them the benefit, but they still rolled one, which is still a, a loss of one. This is the uh, Alpha Company, A Company, 4th Alabama's morale roll. Uh, that's actually fine. They, they passed the morale roll, no issue. So it's only a loss of one strength point. So they're down to uh, two there. But they're adjacent. They're adjacent and they're in good order. Um, yeah. So now, so now we can go to uh, offensive fire. The Confederates actually rolled sixes in each case. When they fired with the volley fire, volley fire here, it was a six, no effect. And when the A Company, 4th Alabama, fired adjacent to the 20th main, which by the way is still, so he starts out strength um, two. Um, it's minus one for the rock hexide and it's Minus one for for the defending unit is fired on by enemy company one elevation lower than itself. Firing from a lower. Um, I just realized that one wasn't even allowable. Never mind. I started on the three column. I should have started on the two column because obviously his current strength is two. Yeah. I could not have combined that fire with this one on this target because they were using volley fire. You know, I wonder if you pay for volley fire earlier. I guess not, but I wonder... No, I guess you couldn't change that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, in any case, the Confederates didn't get anything.